short while. And so that situation is only for a short while. You are hard pressed on every side by that sickness or by that situation, but you will not be crushed. Hallelujah. I want you to know one more scripture whilst you are standing up. I want us to go quickly to one more scripture in the book of Hebrew, chapter 11 and verses 35b. But in order for us to understand, I'm just going to read the whole 30 verse says, Women received back their dead, raised to life. Others were tortured and refused to be relieved. Their resurrection, church. God allowed Joseph to go through whatever he went through so that he can become a pharaoh. Hallelujah. God is allowing you to go through whatever you are going so that you have a better resurrection. God is allowing the situation. He is delivering some out of it so that you will have a better future. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says, it's okay if it's all right for my sister and it's not all right for me. Hey, hey, she has done it. Why not me? Don't compare yourself to that sister and don't compare yourself to the brother because what his will and his plan and his purpose for your life. Hallelujah. Just maintain your dream and focus on your dream and keep dreaming Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, some of the women, they received their dead back to life. Yes. Being a, a better resurrection. The same God we serve. He raised some for the women not doing. So that they would gain a better result. It doesn't matter what situation is there. Praise God for that brother. And maintain your vision. And say to yourself, thank you Shins in the house of God. So that they will become more committed into the things of God. Hallelujah. That is the way God planned it. Lift up your eyes and see Jesus Christ. See the King of all kings intervening in every son who is the altar and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to maintain your dream in your heart today. Hallelujah. I want to pray with you right now. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. You crush over it and you will trample over it. But I pray in the name of Jesus that we will maintain the dream and we help us of God manifested through that dream in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that in times when we are hard pressed, give us grace, oh God, to rise up from that level and to know that, yes, we are not destroyed. Our strength is in the Lord. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. We will rise up to our our feet and begin to mount up with wings like eagles. We will run and we will walk and we will not faint and we will not be weary because the most high God is our strength. This morning, my God, I pray that you cause us to depend on your word to maintain our dream. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanks. Amen. God bless you all. If you came today to listen to us, God bless you. I want to encourage you to come again and come with a friend. Hallelujah.